Hello and welcome to PhotoTouch Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak, and in this video I'm going to show you one of the great new features of Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 5. I'm going to talk about the upright feature, which can be used to correct perspective distortion in your images. It's a great automatic feature, and I'm going to show it on four different images, just to give you an idea how it works. So first of all, I'm going to select this image here and press D to enter the develop module. And I'm going to uh, make this bar here at the bottom, the film strip, a little bit smaller so we can see more of the image. And we actually don't have to see this uh, top panel, so I'm going to press F5. That will hide it. I don't need the basic panel, so I'm going to close that and close all the other panels. What I need is the lens corrections panel. Here, the best is to choose the basic option because there we can enable the profile corrections, which is already great, that will find what type of lens we use to take this picture and based on that it will automatically do a correction. So you can see it was before and then with the profile corrections it looks already much better. And then we have the upright options here. Whenever I use upright I usually use constraint crop as well so I check that and then let's see what can we do with upright set to auto so if I click on that it will turn the image around and it finds uh, the horizontal and vertical lines in the image we can also try just to use level or vertical so separately these two but auto is most of the time does the best job you can also try using full but in most cases that's not what you need I will show you when it's useful to use that option. So let me just switch back to Auto. And by the way, if you want to do more corrections after this point, you can still do that by switching to Manual, and here you will find other options. So for example, if you feel like it's not uh, leveled out properly, like I want to move it a little bit to the right, then we can always do that. Let me switch to the next example. Once again, I switch back to the basic tab and choose enable profile corrections first. Let's see before and after. So it nicely gets rid of that distortion in the image. And then I switch on uh, constraint crop and choose auto. Let's see what happens. You can see that this building and everything else is nicely corrected. So it's perfectly aligned in perspective. Let's see before and after. Okay, even the composition is much better now using this feature. Let's see the next example. And now this gets a little bit more extreme when we have a much stronger perspective in the image. Let's check again the usual stuff. Enable profile corrections, constraint crop. And then we click on auto, first of all, which does quite a good job. But I still feel like there's a bit of perspective which I would like to correct. Now let's try full. So full on um, upright feature will look like this, which is actually really good because now the vertical lines are all vertical. But because of the strong distortion, uh, our crop doesn't show everything from the original uh, building. So what we can do is turn off the constraint crop option and press R, which will help us to do it manually. So here we can align the crop so make sure that we can see a bit of the foreground and just see this part of the building like that. And then if I press enter, then we have a nicely aligned uh, image and we see everything from the original building, but it looks much better than before. So that was before and this is after. So the perspective is completely corrected. Even with this very high tower, it looks great. Um, and the same applies to this image. Well, once again, we have a very strong perspective. We are looking at an image from a very low angle. And uh, if I add the enable profile corrections, that already helps a bit once again to straighten up the lines. I'm again going to choose constraint crop and choose auto first of all, just so you see how it looks. And compared to that, how does full look? And that's a great uh, adjustment. Once again, we just have to align the crop. So I'm going to press R and I'm actually going to leave constraint crop, crop turned on. So that will make sure I won't 
increase my crop into areas where I don't have anything left from the image. So that's also a quite useful option. I can make it uh, tighter, the whole crop. So we will be able to extend it further down to see some people walking around. And I can align the crop here on the top as well. So that's it. And I click on done to accept my crop. Once again, let's see before and after. So that was before lens correction and that is after. There's a huge difference in, uh, in the perspective of this image as well. So we can see that most of the time auto is enough if you have enable profile corrections turned on. But in some cases when you have a very big distortion in the image and then you can try to use full. Most of the times I found out that it works well when you have a frontal a photo of a building so if you have it from an angle then it's better to use auto but if you have something like this or the previous image then you can also try to use the full upright feature so that's all what you need to know about this new feature in Lightroom 5 I hope you like this uh, presentation and make sure to check the other new features as well here on Phototouch Plus thanks a lot for your attention